In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about texturing in clay. Texturing clay, you want to think about an experience that you've had, maybe like this. Okay, you see something cool, and it's got such an interesting shape and texture that um, you just want to go up and grab it and see what it feels like. Okay, and that's usually about the time that your parents say, "Hey, put that down." Okay, well, that's a that's hardwired into our brains to see something that feels interesting and want to go touch it. We want to activate that same kind of sensation um, when we create textures. And the way we can do that is by creating multiple layers, thin layers, but multiple layers and depth um, in our texture. And that creates an interest um, into wanting to touch it and feel it and see what it feels like. Up front, we have different texture mats. And these are you know, a real easy way to get pretty cool textures into your clay very simply. Take a slab and make a really thin slab, you know, either with a roller or you might be able to press into it with your hand. And then pull away a beautiful texture. To apply this to something like a round surface, you know, might want to cut like a border off. Now if you don't make this thin enough, it's going to look really clumpy um, on your project. So this isn't quite thin enough. I'd actually go thinner than this, but for demonstration's sake, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I cut a nice piece out, clean edges, and I would lay that on my right hand slip and score it to the project. Now another way that you can create interesting texture is with the tools. I'm going to just wedge this back into a shape and then make it into a slab again for demonstration purposes. Oftentimes what I see on a lot of projects is people do some pretty cool stuff, you know, but it's all these lines just scratched into the surface of the clay. Now that's not all that interesting. Even if it's done very well, it doesn't create a very interesting texture. It doesn't engage our brain to want to go pick that project up and see what it feels like. A way to give this more uh, depth and dimensionality so that people will really want to go grab it and see what it feels like is to carve down. So one of the easiest ways is to use one of these loop tools it has this loop on the end and actually carve down half of these so I'm going to follow the lines that I have in the clay already and I just carve it down okay do one then skip one do another one and then skip one and it gives us a much more interesting texture where we have the surfaces kind of raised up. So we have different layers, different levels, and that's much more interesting. Another way we can do it is actually cut those lines at an angle. So I'm going to take maybe a knife or maybe a loop tool and cut at an angle along those lines. And here we have the beginning of kind of that kind of wavy texture. And you would go through and clean this up. And that's going to be, that's really cool looking. Okay, so there's a couple of textures for you that might help you. Obviously, you can always do the texture where you're pushing the tools in to the clay. You could, you know, do both and come up with some really cool combinations. And again, just Creating those details really makes people want to touch your project and makes them more interested in your project, really. So 
there's a couple of texture ideas for you in your project.